so here we are heading southwards uh, with David, the regular partner in crime, uh, and we are heading down to uh, do an event for the chaps restoring the Shackleton at Coventry Airport, um, which has always been enjoyable previously, so hopefully we'll have a good day today as well, and uh, we'll uh, uh, film some more when we get there. This is my friend David, who's wearing RAF 1950s uh, flying kit, and he's just going to run through what he's wearing. Yep. Uh, so underneath my uh, coveralls, I'm wearing the war service dress new pattern, the officer's tailored version, uh, and thermals underneath that. Uh, shirt and tie. I'm wearing a Mark II A uh, flight suit in blue grey. Uh, Mark IV life supporting jacket, LSJ uh, life jacket, and I have a Mark II A bone dome in this bag here. Could you possibly just get the bone dome out, out and show us a little yep. bit of the detail of that? And your, your the flying helmet inside. Oh, marvellous! Thank you, David. This is the G-type flying helmet in blue-grey. You get these in green as well, and an H-type oxygen mask. And we're not going to be able to hear you very well now, but. Uh... So just going to run through the uniform I'm wearing, um, got an OA's beret, top uh, stay bright badge, which had been introduced in the late 40s, um, quite common by this point. Um, the main, the working uniform is this green denim overall, uh, fly fronted, press studs at, at wrists and ankles so you can open up those and put them on over the clothing you're wearing underneath. Uh, underneath this is a wool uh, new pattern war service dress which is essentially an RAF blue version of the 1949 pattern battle dress. There are differences but it's very similar. Uh, then it's worn with an OA's uh, collar attached shirt, uh, black tie and I'm also wearing a, a v-neck pullover underneath because I'm quite cold today uh, being the middle of December. Uh, black service shoes, shoes seem to be even very commonly worn with working uniform as well as boots uh, and that's basically it, that's an OA's uh, working uniform. So this is the interior of the nose, the Shackleton, originally you would have had 20mm cannons to left and right of the seat you can see in the centre of the frame there and then obviously there's a bomb aimers position down um, bottom here, much as you have on a Lancaster really. Uh, one very stark difference from a Lancaster, you have two pilots two pilots positions um, and then moving back have the flight engineer and I believe the navigator uh, navigator's position and then moving back we have the, obviously the aerial airborne early warning positions which are still in here Much with these on. What? <laughs> Zero. They're on. Master fuel clock, so on
original footage from the 1950s RAF band crew in Colorado. As promised.